morning hope you are doing well like i am today is actually uh what, which day is today wednesday so yeah i had a footage of me fixing up this uh light fixtures or someone coming to fix this light fixtures somehow somehow it just disappeared from my files i don't know what i did it's no longer there so yeah i feel terrible about that because i really wanted to show you guys when the light fixtures were being fixed and plus the unboxing bit of it but all is well as i'm still going to show you the aftermath of how it looked like so yeah and then today i want to go for fabric shopping Yay! finally fi i'm going to be um changing my seat so yeah i'm actually meeting up with linda Murray because yeah we decided to meet up today so i'll be going to kikomba with you guys let me first show you uh, how everything turned out where it concerns my light fixtures so in my recent vlog i had gone to shop for these light fixtures actually this is not exactly what i wanted initially but uh, i found this very very beautiful i just thank god that i found an alternative and i also fixed another one just right at the adjacent wall and i really really love the outcome because yeah it's making this place look so cozy so nice so beautiful and and the only thing that i'll be changing is the bulbs because the bulbs are the ones that are you know making the place look so beautiful and yeah these wall fixtures right here are just uh, making the space also look so vibrant and you know i thought uh, of just adding up that space but initially this is the place that i really wanted to change and i love the whole entire look <music> So I initially settled for this fabric right here. I truly, truly love it because it's a neutral color. And I remember I asked you guys on my Instagram, I think. I think I did. So um, I wanted emerald green or this one. Actually, I post that question here on my last uh, video. And you guys opted that I should go with a neutral color because that way I'll be able to play around with the deco pieces and the cushion covers. So yeah, finally, this is it. And I had uh, two fundis doing the job because I didn't want to take so much time in Gikomba because I knew if it would be one person doing the whole entire job, it will take almost the whole day because yeah she has to cut the fabric make sure the the uh, what are they called the measurements are right and all that so yeah basically i had this lady who is cutting and someone else who is actually doing the sewing of the fabric and that way it will make work easy for me so yeah <music> At 
this point i was also looking for any kind of errors that may have occur in a fabric it's very important to just go through and yeah i changed even the design of the uh, back cover because i wanted this uh, look and yeah so we were just checking through to see whether there are any errors or you know any stitch errors and it was just a tiny little bit of it but yeah it was corrected and yeah this is now me going back home because actually it was late uh, this work really took a lot of time but at least i was truly truly satisfied so yeah and the weather was actually changing you guys i mean <laughs> the weather just changed immediately as in it started raining on my way back but i thank god that i had to take an uber back home because i knew i wouldn't like carry all that stuff alone <laughs> I didn't mention about repainting my wall on uh, my living room makeover because I had not put this in my budget but I really desired to re uh, repaint because I thought this wall was looking so dull and like you can see you can actually compare and see that this part that has already been painted halfway looks way better than this other half and of course we removed everything on that wall so that it makes work easier the house was already looking so disorganized but yeah i do want anything you know touching paint especially my seat and all that but uh definitely i just wanted to make sure that my living room looks so good because yeah it is a living room makeover and i'm looking forward to you know having a cozy space because my living room is also one of these spaces that i truly love enjoying sitting while you know eating my dinner or lunch or breakfast or even you know watching something i mean i love being in a cozy space so yeah i thought why not why not and definitely i was uh, using the brilliant white glossy paint because i wanted a little bit of a shine this time around because it will make work easier for me where it concerns cleaning so yeah why not So uh, in my living room, there is also this other side of the wall that has white. Look at how dirty this space looks like, you guys. I mean, the other paint, which was matte, used to attract so much dust. As in, you know, it just makes the white look so dirty. So that's why I opted to do the glossy, uh, brilliant white. That way it is going to be easy for me to clean up and yeah so this is the other side that is white and then the other opposite uh, wall has gray and i think the gray color looks amazing also let's take it So actually this is two days later after the painting work I decided now it's time for me to do the seat as in I was just looking forward for this day because I've been longing to change this seat like forever you guys. I mean this leather fabric was just not giving it was not even you know doing justice to my living room and then plus uh, the throw covers 
uh, the, the the cushion covers were also a different color that I truly you know didn't like as in it figured a place where I didn't like the colors and you know uh, I just felt I needed change definitely and yeah this is how a seat looks like you guys you don't want to see the back of your seat you guys I mean <laughs> it looks terrible but you know once it's covered up you didn't even notice and imagine these were the legs that were on my seat you guys just look at how tiny they were I, I mean that is even wood oh my goodness i don't even know what to say but anyway today is the ideal day for the you know uh, refurbishing of my seat and i know you'll be asking me why he's doing it inside the house it's because outside it's really really cold and it rained last uh, night it really poured so yeah outside is so misty and so cold and i thought why should i you know like um take a fundi outside when it's cold and you know he can't work wearing a sweater on so i just said let him do it in the house because i'll still i'll still clean it up yeah i i will still do some cleaning because of course the house was painted and now uh they still see it so why not why not clean afterwards so like you can see the seat is really you know changing it's really looking nice and i can't wait to see the end result of it we got here because you don't know how you say we're taking on water yeah we're sinking and of course i had to change the legs of my seat I, I wanted my seat to be a little bit elevated so i'm happy to have all these changes so this is the first portion of uh, the chair and it's all done and i love 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 the outcome oh, who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you so i would like you to stick till the very end and see the end result plus i'll also be doing some more decor on my living room so yeah stay tuned keep watching my videos because this episode is going to get more interesting yeah so this is four hours later the fundi came uh, very early in the morning so by midday he was very much done and this is the whole outcome of my seat i'm truly truly loving everything as in it has even brightened up my living space uh, my living room space and i'm so super excited to decorate i'm looking forward to you know uh, making a new cushion covers and all that so yeah just tell me down the day comment section is it a yes or a nay as for me i'm just so happy and yeah this is the whole outcome i've just used the throw covers that i have uh, these covers are found at glam home and decor so you can check that out on instagram so yeah basically this is it i'm going to be uh, washing my living room so let me catch you guys in the next video going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be